What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Jabra Elite 7 Active and we're going to compare them to the Jabra Elite 7 Pro to see what the real differences are, if any. Are they actually giving you a more secure fit like they claim with their shake grip technology? Supposedly they're supposed to be, you know, more secure for hitting the gym and activities of the like. Um, but we're going to see if that's actually true. I'm just going to go down the list of specs and features and see how these two stack up. So first off, we have price. The Jabra Elite 7 Pro are 200 bucks and the Jabra Elite 7 Active are 180. So the Elite 7 Active are the cheaper of the two. Next, we have colors. With the Jabra Elite 7 Pro, you have black, you have gray as well as a light beige. And then with the Elite 7 Active, you have black, you have green as well as a blue. Um, so with the Elite 7 Active, you're getting more fun, vibrant colors. So moving over to the charging cases, they appear to be the exact same. They look to be the same size. Um, they're the same, you know, clamshell design. You have your branding featured on the lid with your LED as well as your USB port on the front of the cases. And they both support wireless charging. So really no differences to be had there. When it comes to the earbuds, they also appear to be the same size. They're both giving you in-ear detection, which means anytime you remove one of the earbuds from your ear, your music is automatically gonna pause. And then once you place them back in your ear, it's automatically gonna resume. If you don't like that, you can turn it off within the Jabra app. Also, they're both giving you physical button controls and they're giving you access to all of your controls at once. And the controls are customizable within the Jabra app. So the big difference with the earbuds is gonna be the rubber coating on the exterior of the Elite 7 Active. And honestly, I was expecting the rubber to extend onto the inner part of the earbud as well to give you that grip and that friction for a more secure fit. Instead, the inner part of the earbud is plastic just like with the Elite 7 Pro. Also, the earbuds are using the exact same ear tips as well. So all of the specs are pretty much the same between the two earbuds. They're both using Bluetooth 5.2 as well as SBC and AAC as their audio codecs. They're both going to give you roughly eight hours on a single charge with a total of 30, including the case. And they both support independent use, which means you can use either the left or the right earbud while the other remains inside of the charging case. Something that really surprised me is that these actually have the same IP57 dust and water resistant rating. Um, I was thinking that the Elite 7 Active would have a higher rating with them being geared towards, you know, athletes and people that are more active and may spend more time outdoors. But no, you're getting the exact same rating with both earbuds. So technically anything that you subject the Elite 7 Active to, you could also subject the Elite 7 Pro to. So one thing that Jabra has really hyped up about the Elite 7 Pro is the multi-sensor technology with bone conducting microphones, which is supposed to give you some really great call quality. And that's one feature that you're not getting with the Elite 7 Active. So we'll be sure to do a microphone test later in the video to see if there's any real difference in terms of the performance of the microphones. So when it comes to the Jabra app, you're getting the exact same experience with the Elite 7 Active as you are with the Elite 7 Pro. All of the customization options are the exact same. So you have your adjustable slider for your active noise cancellation as well as your hear through mode. Um, you have your fully customizable equalizer along with a few different presets and you're able to go in and customize your physical button controls, um, which like I said, you are getting access to all of your controls, including volume. Now, when it comes to the fit, this is one of the main selling points of the Elite 7 Active due to the shake grip technology that's supposed to give you a very secure fit. That way, when you're hitting the gym or you're out exercising, um, the earbuds don't work themselves loose. Honestly, I can't tell much of a difference between the two. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that the rubber coating is only on the exterior part of the earbud. So the part of the earbud that's actually coming in contact with your ear is plastic, just like with the Elite 7 Pro. Now, the only way I think this will be different is if you have larger size ears where the Elite 7 Active can fit deeper into your ear to the point that your ear actually comes in contact with the rubber coating. In that case, you may experience a more secure fit. But for the rest of us with smaller ears, I don't really see any big difference in terms of the fit or security. When it comes to sound quality, you are getting the exact same performance out of both of these earbuds. You're getting a very dynamic sound. 
you're getting plenty of treble and clarity as well as some nice strong punchy bass and like i said you do have that fully adjustable equalizer so you can really tailor the sound to whatever it is that you're looking for now if you're looking specifically for a bass I would still recommend the Jabra Elite 75T or the 85T over either of these. Moving over to the performance of the active noise cancellation and the transparency mode, that also seems to be the exact same. Overall, the active noise cancellation is solid, um, but still, it's not the best of the best. That still goes to Bose, Sony, and I would even throw the AirPods Pro in there as well. These do have a very effective transparency mode. They do a great job of drawing in your surroundings so that you can be more aware of what's going on. And you have that adjustable slider within the Jabber app. So you do get quite a bit of control. So like I said earlier, you're not getting the multi-sensor technology for your phone calls with the Jabber Elite 7 Active. So let's go ahead and see if we can tell a difference between the microphone quality. All right, so this is a microphone test of the Jabber Elite 7 Pro. As you can see, we have quiet conditions. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now let's go ahead and see how they sound once we add some background noise. All right, so now we have some crowd noise being played on a speaker. So this should give you a rough idea as to how you would sound if you choose to take phone calls in a more noisy environment. Now let's see how they sound compared to the Jabra Elite 7 Active. All right, so now this is a microphone test of the Jabra Elite 7 Active. Again, quiet conditions. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now let's see how they sound once we add some background noise. All right, so now we have some crowd noise being played on a speaker. So again, this should give you a rough idea as to how you would sound if you choose to take phone calls in a more noisy environment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So overall, I'm not really seeing a huge difference between the Elite 7 Pro and the Elite 7 Active, especially since the whole shake grip technology did not translate into a better fit. So that's gonna be it for this video. Do me a favor, if you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on social media to stay up to date on all the reviews that I have coming up in the future. And aside from that, as always, I'll see you guys next time.